Welcome back. <laughs> this is part two of that double feature. I promise since it was a little bit behind, I missed out on last week. I actually had some ready last week, but I didn't like the way they was coming out. So here we are. This is one about wisdom, and it was inspired by a real serious um, video I saw from the brother New Breed earlier today. And let me read that same verse that I read last time explaining how I got to this point. It is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 21 verse 15. It says if a skillful man hear a wise word he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding hear of it it displeaseth him and he casteth it behind his back. Let's get that same verse out of the TNT. Good news translation. It says, when an educated person hears something that shows insight, it stimulates his mind and leads him on to other ideas. But when someone who is satisfied with ignorance hears it, he won't like it and will forget it as soon as he can. Let's not be them type of people, man. Let's embrace wisdom and let's give shout outs and com compliments to the people who bring it to us. Like I just did. Let's again shout out Brother Breed for that excellent teaching on wisdom. The wisdom of the world versus the wisdom of the Most High that you put out earlier today. And what you were saying led me, when I was doing my study and right after watching it, I went to do my reading for the day and I came upon these verses. This is Sirach Ecclesiasticus, the same book. Chapter 4, verses 11 through 18. It says, Wisdom exalteth her children, and lay of hold of them that seek her. He that loveth her loveth life, and they that seek her early shall be filled with joy. He that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory, and wheresoever she entereth, Yahuwah will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One, and them that love her, Yahuwah doth love. Whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. For at first she will walk with him by crooked ways, and bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her disciplines until she may trust his soul. And try him by her loss. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. Now let's get that. Hold on, I'm gonna give me some water real quick. One second. Alright, I'm back. Let's get those same verses from the Good News Translation. It gives it a title here. It says, Wisdom as a Teacher. Wisdom takes care of those who look for her. She raises them to greatness. Loving her is loving life. And the opposite of that is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. All those who hate me love death. That's what it says. Just night and day right there. Choose life, choose death. Ain't that what it says somewhere else in the scriptures? Yep. So it says itself. Rising early to look for her is pure joy. Anyone who obtains wisdom will be greatly honored. Wherever he goes, Yahuwah will bless him. Wisdom's servants are the servants of the Holy One, and Yahuwah loves everyone who loves her. And something that goes along with that is Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 12. We're going to probably get into that later. But let's finish reading this verse. Those who obey her will give judgments. Greek gives sound judgments. And in Greeks it says they will judge nations. Those who pay attention to her have true security. Put your trust in wisdom and you will possess her. And you will pass her on to your descendants. At first wisdom will lead you along difficult paths. She will make you so afraid that you think. You cannot go on. The discipline she commands demands will be tormenting, 
and she will put you to the test with her requirements until she trusts you or you trust her completely. Then she will come to you with no delay, reveal her secrets to you and make you happy. But if you go astray, she will abandon you and let you go to your own ruin. Goodness gracious, that's serious. Now let's go to one of the books of the Torah, Deuteronomy. This is chapter 4, verses 5 through 9. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahuwah, my mighty one, commanded me, that ye should do so in the land, whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have Elohim so nigh unto them, as Yahuwah our mighty one is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as is all his law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to yourself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all in the days of thy life, but teach them to thy sons and thy sons' sons. So that's basically saying right there that these commandments that the Heavenly Father gave us are our wisdom and understanding. And just to make it plain, make sure that it's plain, we're going to get it also out of the Good News Translation. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verses 5 through 9. It says, I have taught you all the laws as Jehovah my mighty one told me to do. Obey them in the land that you are about to invade and occupy. Obey them faithfully and this will show the people of other nations how wise you are. When they hear of all these laws they will say, What wisdom and understanding this great nation has. No other nation, no matter how great, has a mighty one so near with them when they need him as Yahuwah our mighty one is to us. He answers us whenever we call for help. No other nation, no matter how great, has laws so just as those that I have taught you today. Be on your guard. Make sure you do not forget, as long as you live, what you have seen with your own eyes. Tell your children and your grandchildren. That's out of the Good News Translation, those same verses. They're saying that these, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father are our wisdom and knowledge. Now let's go to some of the benefits of wisdom. This is Ecclesiastes, not Ecclesiasticus, but Ecclesiastes out of the regular standard King James Bible. This is chapter 8 and verse 1. This is a real quick one. It says... Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Let's get that out of the good news translation. The trusty GNT. And it reads as thusly. Let me stop. It says, only the wise know what things really mean. Wisdom makes them smile and makes their frowns disappear. Now let's go to Psalm 19, 7 through 10. Talking once again about the law. The law of Yahuwah is perfect, converting the soul. His testimony of Yahuwah is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of Yahuwah are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Yahuwah is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahuwah is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahuwah are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, 
is sweeter than the honey in the honeycomb. And if y'all grew up around the time I grew up and listened to gospel music, it was a song by um, Vicky Winans. And it had these exact same lyrics right there. So it was like kind of hard for me to read it and not sing it. But it's a beautiful song. And it's saying that exact thing right there. That those scriptures, it's like it's lovely. The old school gospel songs, a lot of them was just scriptures put to music, put to tunes and beat. So you was getting like exactly what the message of the Bible said. Just by listening at your radio. I miss those days. Um, we going to go to. Sirach. Chapter. Um, 11. And 1. It says. If a poor person is wise. He has good reason to be proud. And he will be thought of. As someone great. And we're going to get it from the King James Version. It says, Wisdom lifteth up the head of him that is of low degree, and maketh him to sit among great men. And that made me think of Proverbs 18 and 16. It says, A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. It just kind of reminded me of each other, because they both said that the wisdom and the gift will bring you before great men. And that, and the good news says, A gift opens doors for the one who gives it. And brings him into the presence of great people. And this is a bonus one. This is Sirach chapter 10 verse 25. And let's get it from the King James. Sirach chapter 10 verse 25. It says. Unto the servant that is wise shall they that are free do service. And he that hath knowledge will not grudge when he is reformed. Let's get it from the good news. It says, A slave who is wise will have free citizens serving him. And if they are sensible, they will not resent it. So that's, let's read um, 11 and 1 from the good news again. If a poor person is wise, he has good reason to be proud. And he will be thought of as someone great. And we're going to close this one out with Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 24 until wherever we stop because I didn't put down where where we was going to stop on that one but it's very important to go along with all of these it says but let him that glory if glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahuwah, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith Yahuwah. That is Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 24, and it's, that's also reiterated in the New Testament in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 31. So, if we have wisdom and knowledge of the Most High, that's something to be excited about. That's something to glory about. That's something to be proud about. Not the things of the world that a lot of people are proud about. But just know that in summing all this up, the knowledge of the laws, statutes, and commandments, that is our wisdom and our understanding. And that's what makes us wise. Not a whole bunch of things that people study all the time and they think is making them wise. And they think is making them smart. This is what makes you smart. Knowing the Most High and knowing what he's, his statutes, laws, and commandments and what he wants us to do. That's true wisdom. And with that, peace to all of y'all. And Most High willing, I'll be back again before too long. I'm out. <laughs>